Well, do I think that over time we will overbuild the industrial and multifamily spaces? Probably. Uh, that has certainly been the history of U.S. development over the past uh, 50 years. But do I think that's anytime soon? No. Uh, I really think that the demand drivers that are fueling multifamily and industrial are so strong uh, that we're going to see a very robust performance in those two markets going forward. And I think that Transwestern will continue to be heavily involved in the acquisitions and development of both of those product types. So as we, as we look first at, uh, at the industrial space, it continues to be driven heavily by logistics and by e-commerce. And uh, I think the e-commerce demand in the United States, total retail sales is sort of in the mid-teens, 13 to 15% retail shopping online. Uh, you go to Europe, it's between 25 and 30%, so double what we have in the U.S. So to me, that speaks to more and more demand on the uh, e-commerce side, which will just fuel additional industrial development. I think the other thing we look at is just the national vacancy rate is still very low, around 5% or so, plus or minus. And so we're clearly not overbuilding into this incredibly re robust demand. So I, I, I see the industrial and logistics uh, business having a lot of runway ahead of it for a number of years. I think the multifamily space has lots of tailwinds as well. Uh, different ones though. So Freddie Mac is uh, estimating that we're probably almost 4 million uh, single family homes undersupplied relative to the national demand. So as apartment renters are looking for single family homes to move in, there's not enough. And then I think if you couple on top of that, the uh, increased land prices and increased construction costs that it will cost to build single family homes and multifamily product, uh, that is going to end up being a pretty good governor on uh, the amount of new supply that's added. So I think with uh, the millennials uh, moving into a house formation mode over the next uh, five to ten years, we're going to find that the, the demand for single family is going to be continue to be pretty tight. And I think uh, we'll, we'll continue to see very robust demand in the multifamily sectors.